The city of Nizam's Hyderabad is known for its historical monuments, blooming lifestyle, enchanting environment, a wide variety of food and the encircling atmosphere, which makes Hyderabad one of the most visited cities of India. Albert Einstein rightly said, only a life lived for others is a life worthwhile. Today we are in conversation with a man who truly believes in living his life for the service of mankind. Mr. Harish Shahani. He is the chairman of Lions Club of Hyderabad Sadhuram Eye Hospital. Hi sir, how are you? I'm good. Thank, thank you so much for sparing your valuable time with us today. Pleasure is mine. Thank you for having me. So firstly, please enlighten us with the origin of Lions Club of Hyderabad, Sadhuram Eye Hospital from its idea to its inception. The idea of Lions Club, Sadhuram Eye Hospital is a unique story by itself. Mr. Alim Chand, he had a dream once. He saw a blind boy struggling in his life. He shared his story of dream to his wife, Mrs. Kalavati Sadhuram, who is the doyen of this hospital. And after the death of Mr. Alim Chand, Mrs. Kalavati Sadhuram thought about starting and doing something about the blind people and the poor in the She contacted her brothers. She was basically from West Indies. She contacted her brothers who were staying in Hyderabad. There, she said she wished to start something, a charitable cause for the blind and the poor and the needy. This is how the land was donated by them. We contacted Lions Club of Hyderabad and they enthusiastically joined us in this joint venture. I am happy to state that this joint venture is running since 1974, 48 long years. This association which is there and uh, I wish to thank Lions Club of Hyderabad and the Lions International for helping us in this noble cause and uh, we are basically doing a fantastic job of taking care of the poor and needy as far as affordable eye care is concerned. Such an inspiring story sir. So please let us know what were the challenges you had to face during the development of this project and what do you consider as your significant achievements? Though I am the current chairman of this hospital, over the years of the last 48 years, a lot of people have contributed to the development from what it started out with. And people, you won't believe, have given 20 years of their lifetime in managing this hospital and bringing it to the shape of what it is now. It started off with a very small hospital which was catering to the needs of uh, cataract surgery and all that. And I'm happy to tell you now that we are a multi-speciality, fully equipped eye care hospital in the region. We have all the facilities to be provided. We have got a retina department apart from the cataract. We have got a oculoplasty department. We have got a pediatric department for eye care of the children and all. Basically, we are a one-stop shop as far as eye care is concerned. And bringing it up to this level has not been easy. People have literally given a lot of time, energy, to bringing it to the way it has shaped up now and a lot of money and donations have come from philanthropists, from corporates, from people who understand what is required and all that and I'm happy to state we are at this stage wherein we can proudly say we are doing a good job of providing affordable eye care to the poor and the needy. And so what is your greatest source of inspiration? During the years, everyone gets inspired by small, small things, by a lot of people and all that. Samely, I have been inspired by a lot of people in smaller ways. But uh, honestly, in the current scenario, our Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Modi, is my inspiration for what he has been doing. The will and the to implement changes in the lives of people. Though sometimes everyone may differ with him, but we have to do the job of bringing it. And that is what we also try to do. So, yeah, he is a great source of inspiration to me, Prime Minister Modi ji. That's wonderful. So, sir, how do you manage your work-life balance? 
that's a tough one but i think the role of the family is very important in finding a right balance between work charitable causes and your personal life and here my wife's role is very very important she has supported me all the way and making me comfortable with whatever i want to do but i strongly believe also that if you are happy doing whatever you are doing finding an inspiration and balancing life is easy shouldn't be a problem because i enjoy this particular charitable cause which we are associated with and things are good it doesn't uh, it's not too tough it depends on how tough we make it but the balance is good thanks to everyone who support me and do it rightly said sir family is definitely one's biggest support so what are your strategies to persuade donors to come forward and take part in your inspiring initiatives in the last 48 years we have developed a reputation as a creditable charitable organization we are looking at all the corporates nris hni client donors to come forward give donations so that we can service more poor and needy in this aspect in today's digital media generation we are trying to do something which is going to reach out to all the nris living abroad and our aim and vision and mission is made known to them that this is what our hospital is doing and they should support us in fulfilling their even in times of today's digital media we have got a plan in place to put our vision and mission in which reaches out to so many nris living abroad where they will know what is our cause and how we work so that we can get more support from them as far as donations of both uh, cash and equipment is concerned and to an extent we are succeeding in doing that totally we hope more and more people come forward sir sure and sir lastly what is the specific message that you would like to give to general public uh, we are planning to expand to more rural areas of our city and our state uh, we have a plan in place where in presently we have got five satellite center all over the city and we cater to the needs of the poor and needy by going there testing the patients in their respective areas identifying the people who are need eye care bringing them to our hospital and then giving them free surgeries and uh, eye care so in that endeavor we plan to expand to more satellite centers so that we can reach out to more and more people in the thank you sir we wish you and your team all the very best for this thank you and lastly sir is there any specific message that you would like to convey to general public to the general public i can say that i think mankind should stand for to support and to take care of others who are not fortunate enough to have all the facilities and all the money or the things in life we all should people who have got the resources should take care of the poor and needy in that way i think even the smallest amount of funds make a long difference in making their changes in their lives and okay a lot of people don't have the money doesn't matter but some people have got time even spending time in a, a charitable organization doing some creative work some sub work to support them that also makes a lot of difference so i request anyone who is watching this to come out donate generously to a social cause which we are taking care of affordable quality i care to all the needy and the people who are there so that we can eradicate blindness totally from this part of the country thank you so much for such an inspiring conversation sir thank you pleasure is mine thank you so thank you so much for such an inspiring conversation we request everyone to contribute in the inspiring initiatives of the lions club and support them to reach every individual in need in this world remember together we can